what's going on today. So stay tuned. We're going to talk about what my six month review about where I've been leased on to and uh, how my experience has been. We're going to talk five good and five bad of USA truck. Here we go. So, let's let's start with the good, okay? The communication. So, whereas like with most companies I've worked with or been leased to, the, the communication sucks. Um, here, it's a little bit more impersonal because, you know, some, most of the communication is done on the Qualcomm, or the Geotab. So, with that being the case, I've always got a written record of any type of communication or anything that's going on. But, they're quick to respond, they get things done, and I've never really had um, an issue as far as communication goes. Sometimes it can be frustrating, depending on the situation, and uh, things of that nature. But, you know, they, they work with you, they communicate, they do, they do, their, they do a good job. Um, the coordinators, dispatchers, or whatever you want to call them, um, who I work with, um, are, are just good, good, solid people, and they're usually really quick to respond to anything going on, and if they're going to be slow that day, like if they're covering down on a couple of fleets, they always send out a message that says, hey guys, look, I've got XYZ number of fleets today, take it easy on me, if you can, send in a message, save your phone calls for the emergency, which is understandable. I can work with that. Um, number two, I'm always able to keep moving and like I don't sit unless I want to for the most time unless I'm in somewhere that's got a really bad market which we will cover that later. Um, number three, and this is by far the top tier most important thing to me when it comes to being leased on here at USA. Going home. No one has ever so much as ever said a word about me going home or taking home time. Um, when I want to go home, I book a load going back home. And no one says anything. They don't call me to ask me when I'm coming back out. Um, they just don't ever bug me. I go home and when I'm ready to go back to work, when the wife gets sick of me and says you need to go back to work, you're driving me nuts, I go back to work and that's all she wrote. So that's that. Um, number four, like I was just saying, it's it's self-dispatched here. We got a load board, you pick your loads, and you know, we get, you know, base minimum 65% of the line haul if you got some other safety stuff in there, like uh, you can, like if you get the collision avoidance uh, adaptive cruise control BS, you get another 1% and if you let them put a camera in your truck, for uh, you can get another 1%. So, I mean, you don't have to have cameras in your truck. So, but yeah, so, you know, it works out really well. Um, if I want to go out to California, I book a load going to California. I want to go to New York City, which I don't know why any anybody would want to go there. I go to, uh, I can go there. I want to go down to Florida and spend a weekend down there, which I've done. I can do it. So, it is what it is. Um, number five on the good. Hey. Um, maybe it's just me and I'm lucky, but, uh, my phone is going crazy. I guess I should turn that down. Um, maybe it's just me and I've gotten lucky, but as far as my pay has been, um, I have made more money here as far as running a truck and being leased on somewhere than I have anywhere else. And maybe that, that could just be because I haven't been leased on, I did one another LP before this at PAM and it didn't pay what this pays. This pays a lot more. Um, but the pay is good. I'm able to pay my bills, pay off my debt, and, uh, you know, all my stuff's paid for. So, you know, my cost has went down substantially. The longer I'm here, the more stuff I pay off, the less money I gotta, gotta spend on main, you know, keeping up with everything at the house. So, but, pay isn't a problem. Now, it is a learning curve. It takes you a while to figure out what lanes you can run, what freights where, and how to navigate the system. You're not just going to come right in the gate 
and start making a hundred grand, you know, a hundred thousand dollars a week. That just doesn't happen, and nobody's making that. But there's a learning curve. You got to put in your time. You got to be consistent. You got to put it in. You can't just show up and expect it to all be gravy. Because the first couple months, I was sucking. I got a handle on it now. I know where to run, where I can find freight. I know where some good freight is. So it's better now. It's like a fine wine being here. It gets better with time. So, that wraps up the good part. Let's talk about the negatives. The number one most annoying thing that I have that is a gripe about this, because I have a pro leasing truck or BNG as some know them, um, my maintenance account is how it's supposed to work is they're supposed to send our road rescue people a printout every Monday of what our updated maintenance escrow is for the truck and road rescue does not get it and so road rescue whenever I break down and it's something that I don't have the necessity to fix like what I'm sitting here for right now while I'm making this video being a thermostat I don't have something I can just drain 13 gallons of coolant into so I gotta call somebody to bring some stuff out here to do it so I don't warp my head um, it went really smooth today though, but like the last couple times, the first couple times I broke down, once I got this truck, it was a freaking nightmare. Um, I had to get a hold of the guy I got the truck from, have him call and send them an email, then they had to call him and verify and get an email back and forth and get into coordination and I'm sitting here on the side of the road in Wyoming, and or not Wyoming, yeah it was Wyoming, with a busted coolant line and no can't run the truck no hot no cold air and it's 115 degrees outside and me and fido were hot um they they suck on that if you have a tell or an sfi truck and tell an sfi handles your maintenance it, there is a it's much better um but like i said pro leasing bng it's new so they got some bugs to work out but they're getting better they're getting better but if I break down and I don't have and I got to use my maintenance account, it freaking sucks. Um, number two on that list, our fuel discounts are not the best. They're better than no fuel discount, but I had a bigger, better fuel discount at my other place where I had that LP truck. But. I'm still, like I said, I'm still making enough money when we were talking, you know, go back talking about pay. I'm still making enough money to where I can still afford to pay for the fuel. So, but the fuel discounts are not the best. But we still get a discount. So I'm not complaining. Every little penny counts. Um, wait times when you call in are a little high sometimes but then again and usually it's only for road rescue in the middle of the night the wait times on hold sock um generally during the day or when daytime's in i just send a message off and everything's kosher and there's not much of a problem uh but sometimes the wait time on the phone is a bit excessive but that's where everywhere you go i mean that's one of those things that just comes with the nature of the business um Freight in Florida. There is absolutely next to no freight in Florida, and what there is, it does not pay at all. So if you go down into Florida, get your money going down because you will be deadheading back out. And if you're going all the way down to Miami, you better pay really freaking good because you're going to eat it coming back out. Because normally, um, from the fluctuate, the freight that I see coming out of Florida usually you don't start seeing freight again until you hit Jacksonville or uh, the Georgia line and as far as Savannah before you see something that's going to be any good. So be mindful going down to Florida because if you don't plan accordingly you're going to eat it. And number five is going to be the trailers. There's a shortage of empty trailers here. Um, at the shippers and receivers and a lot of that is not USA's fault it's just an inconvenience to us a lot of that comes from you know these places like Walmart Meyer TJ Maxx um, places like that they're just not getting the trailers unloaded fast enough so it's not necessarily a 
a USA f USA's fault, but it is an inconvenience, and a lot of there's instances where you find people who have not done their pre trips and post trips on the trailers, where they're just dumping off busted trailers for the next guy to fix, and then being your problem now. Which I I hear about that. I haven't really had that happen to me. I've had one trailer that I picked up and the DOT was out and I had to go get DOT. But, you know, again, that's just all part of it. So, anyway, so, to wrap this up, in summary, do I like it here? Am I making a living? Am I doing okay? Yes. I have enjoyed my time here. I'm not planning on leaving anytime soon. I'm content here. I'm doing well. My bills are paid. My kids are fed. They got clothes, my wife's happy, you know, I go home when I want, I stay out as long as I want, if I want to go out and run three days and go back home, I can. The pay is good enough as long as you book yourself smart. I like it here. I'm comfy here. And I'm still, I'm, and I'm still learning things every day. Um, the things I've listed that are, you know, bad are just really minor annoyances that aren't enough to really hit the bank or to be a reason why I would, you know, tuck my tail and run. I mean, you know, I break that, you know, breakdowns happen. You know, I'm sitting here right now because my thermostat's stuck and my block gets hot. So, you know, everybody has breakdowns. It is what it is. So, <sighs> um, there's not really anything bad enough that would make me want to leave yet. I mean, I don't know how it is on the company side, I can't tell you that, but on the owner op or lease or whatever you want to call it or however they classify us, it's good here. I'm doing great. Um, and they got some really good accounts. So, if you're thinking about doing it, do it. Or don't. I mean, only you can decide. I'm just here to tell you you know my experience and overall my experience has been really good and I've enjoyed my time here so um, drop a comment down below uh, tell me if any of these things or something that uh, that would make you want to leave or that would make you uh, want to come here you know or if you just have questions about this place in general or the trucking industry whatsoever um, reach out leave a comment tell me what you think and you know or tell me I'm just a daggum fool and yeah, that's fine too you know I'm a man of many hats. I've been called many things in my life. You know, I doubt you're going to say anything that I haven't already heard. So, until then, I love y'all. We'll see you next time.